All right, so instead of just printing something to the console, we actually wanted to draw something. So uh, the way we're going to keep track of all these shapes is with array lists. And the way we're going to keep track of all these colors is with array lists. So if somebody draws something, uh, anyway, it's going to make sense when you see it. So we're going to create a couple fields, private array list of shape objects. Uh, which is just a, a class of object that you have to learn about and it encompasses any number of different shapes and so you can make one list of all those shapes so we're gonna call this shapes and private array list of color objects called colors and we have to import array list and import shape we've already imported color and shape is just like a generic class for anything that is a geometric shape in Java. Um, so we have these two array lists. Now, what are we going to do with them? Well, uh, we're going to keep track of all the shapes that have been drawn, and every time a new shape is drawn, we're going to add it to the list. So we're actually going to do that under mouse drag. This is going to be our primary method right now. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to say if if e dot get source equals panel 2. We want to add a shape to our array list. So array list, oops, not array list, sorry. And I haven't initialized them and stuff up top, have I? I can't remember actually if I did. So let's just check that quick. Did I add those two things? Initialize them? No, I did not. Okay, so let's initialize them. They're kind of part of the drawing panel, so I'll initialize them here. Shapes equals new array list shape and colors equals new array list color so right it's a list of color objects and the reason we're doing this is we, well it'll become clear in a second so um, and then we head back down to our uh, mouse dragged stuff and we say if the mouse is dragged on panel 2, we want to add shapes.add a new, uh, we're going to add circles, ellipse. And there's just a shape that you have to learn about called ellipse2d.double um, that just is a circle in Java, uh, and you can define, or an ellipse. Um, and we're going to add it at uh, e.getx, e.gety. And we're going to just initially, we're just going to have this be an arbitrary width and height of 2020. And then also, though, we need to keep track of what color the person is wanting to draw. So we say colors.add the color, which is the representation of our, um, oh, we need to import ellipse2d, uh, of our sliders. And after that, believe it or not, all we have to do is call panel.repaint. Uh, panel 2, I'm sorry, dot repaint. And every time the mouse is dragged, it'll constantly refresh the uh, screen because JPanels know how to do that to themselves. We have just told it to paint components. Now, we haven't told it yet what we would like to actually do. We just have it drawing this box. So instead of just drawing a box, we're going to use a loop to go through all of the items in our array lists. So we're going to start i at the first index, and then we're going to say i is less than shapes dot size i plus plus, and then we want to draw the shape at that. Oh yeah, we want to set the color g two dot set color colors dot get i, and then g two dot fill. Uh, shape and we want it to be shapes dot get I and so every time uh, the panel is asked to repaint itself uh, it will scroll through all of its list and this can be a very long list of, of colors and shapes uh, that it will it'll set the color to whatever sh the color was set when that shape was drawn and it will fill that shape wherever it was because the shape remembers its own position. So if we run this, I believe it'll work. 
And there you can see that we have a functioning uh, pen that is drawing that shape. And we can set the color, and it will set, in fact, the color. Okay, so that's the end of this tutorial.